This guy is bagging like 30 goals. In the prem. In the prem. Legeo was a better shot stopper than Onana. Oh no. He can't keep getting away with this. Box two. Box is back with another video. Millie, what are we doing today? Today, we are doing a draft of players that have been or rumored to be transferred in this summer transfer window. There's a lot of names on this list. Boys, who will make the best team? It's clearly going to be me. Mason Mount's going to be my captain. I already know it. Money Mace. Varvar, in honor of you hitting the winning shot in the IRL, you get to go first. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but like, I'm him. Like, that, that was insane. If you missed that, go check it out. But please. I'm Himothy. And I was his teammate, so we both took the dub there. I carried. Up first, we have right central mid. We have Caicedo, Tonali, and McAllister. Varvar, who are you picking first? This is maybe one of the easiest choices of the draft, I hope. Well, I mean, you can't really go wrong with this choice. You, you can. Mm, they're, all, they're all pretty good. A certain Liverpool player is going very wrong. I'm going to go with... Caicedo, for sure. I think he's the best name on this list. I'm going to go Moises Caicedo. Varvar, I don't know how you're picking Caicedo over McAllister, but Pala, you get to go next. Over who? What did he say? I'm picking Tonali. One of the best midfielders in Serie A does not touch McAllister. Pause. That, that's, what, that's who I would have picked also, just for on the record. Brother, Tonali wasn't even the best player on Milan, and you're saying he's the best player in Serie A. Mm, best oh, midfielder maybe. in Serie A. Best well, no, Barella is in this conversation. Barella is leading the conversation. I agree. Chalonoglu, Chalonoglu better than Tonali also, but we aren't ready for that conversation. Uh, 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 um, uh. Varvar the closeted Inter fan, but that leaves me with McAllister. Not too bad. By the way, Firms was nodding behind the camera about that Chalonoglu better than, than Tonali shout behind the, behind the camera he was. He agrees with everything, everything. Everything we're saying right now. Boys, here's the next spin. Third pick McAllister. That's a steal, Millie. That's what I was saying. There's no wrong options in that category. What? I guess it depends on how you want to play the team. Yeah, the only wrong one is McAllister. It also depends. Yeah, exactly. That's wrong. But third, third choice is pretty good, Millie. One and two right here, though. The IRL team is still going strong, apparently, on this episode. But we have left center back, Gavardial, Torres, and Caldwell. Boys, who are you picking? I think the choice is pretty clear here. We just made a video about him. 100 million euro possible transfer to Manchester City. I got Guardiola. That's crazy. What? That's crazy. Who are you taking? Don't say Pau Torres. I can't, I can't say it because Millie's up next. Here's the thing. I'm taking Pau Torres. So, Paolo, a little bit of sneaky there. Sneaky. Colwell gets into my team. Going to start for Chelsea this year. Watch out. Varvar is a smart man. He knows the Colwell hype is strong right now. He knows it's strong. There's a reason for it. He's, he's been losing some of these drafts and auctions. He's trying to make up some points now. Here's the next spin. I win every single fan vote. Let's not lie here. That's funny because uh, I don't think you've won any of them. I think I won one auction. No, I don't think so. I, I think, think brother so. won the first auction. That was <laughs> Check the tapes. I've won every single one. Next up, we have right wing. And there's some top names here. We have Bernardo Silva, Pulisic, and Asensio. For me, give me my doppelganger, Bernardo Silva. It's, isn't, it, isn't it comedic that Bernardo Silva himself just happened to get Bernardo Silva? Did he just say top names? <clears throat> he said top names and then said Christian Pulisic and Marco Asensio. Well, they're names. I can assure you they're names. My, uh, hey, mine was a top name. I don't know about your top names, but I got my top name. I'll take Captain America. Give me Captain America. I'll take Pulisic. You can have uh, Marco Asensio. I think Asensio. that's the wrong choice. I think that's the wrong choice. He's, someone's hyping up. I think right I got now. a free layup with Asensio. Free. One went to PSG and one went to a farmer's league. There's a reason why Serie A Juventus fan right here, by the way. Listen, the agendas have to agend. Pala doing everything he can to hype up Asensio. He's got to get those votes in. Here's the next spin. There's a reason why Asensio left for free. There's a reason. And he didn't get his contract. Extended. And there's a reason why Pulisic left for a bag of balls and a few cones. Milan had to sell their entire club to buy him. Up next on the block, we have Cam. And there's three names here, and I think I know which Varvar is going to pick. Havertz, Mount, or Sabolazlai. Don't be so quick to assume who I'm picking. Th this Hungarian lad, he's actually been top class in the Bundesliga. Varvar, don't bait anybody. Mason Mountislai. 
<laughs> but oh, brother. <laughs> oh. Mason Mount is the best name on this list. It's not even close. Liverpool fans like to hype up some guys they've not even watched yet. And Havertz is Havertz. I mean, come on. Mount, you are lucky. I haven't come up with a nickname for you yet. Mickey Mount. Mickey Mount. I, I do it and for they you. They just write I, themselves. They write themselves. I was the one doing it last year. But now he's on my team. He's the best cam in the world. Mickey Mount. Thank God you picked him because I'm picking my Arsenal boy, Havertz. Pala picking the Chelsea legend. I guess I'm stuck with Sobolazai, which isn't too bad. Millie, say that twice. Sobolazai, Sobolazai. Sozoblai. Sozoblai, Sozoblai. I dare you guys to try to type that in the comments with your eyes closed. I'm going to do it. You guys are going to see my burner account in there. So, 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 so. Hey, don't knock the Hungarian goat. He is going to slide right into my team. I'm building one for the ages. Here's the next spin. So, Millie, your player barely appeared in the Champions League. Both of ours has appeared and mine scored a Champions League winning goal. Mine like assisted the Champions League winning goal, by the way. Oh, my goodness. Fellas, get a rule. IRL, IRL team. Back in real life, we're, we teaming, up. we're teaming up on, on Millie. Oof, tag team on Millie. But I don't want to see that, that, that motion, bro. Enough. We have landed on left central mid, and there's one big name on this. Uh, you know, respect the other two. But we have Declan Rice, Ugarte, and Lavia. Paula's up next. Who are you picking? That big name. That's a big name. My Romeo ears, Lavia, that's a big name. My ears just closed. After I heard Declan Rice, my ears just closed. And you, you're talking about big names? There's not a lot of bigger names than Declan Rice right now. Lavia Ugarte? Respect the other two names? Excuse me? Always have to show respect. To McTominay? Bigger name. Technically, it's a bigger name. He has, more, <coughs> he has more letters in his name where's, than Rice. Where's that blood off to? Uh, he's gonna about to he's about to replace Rice and play even better than him. Oh, third division Belgium, uh, fifth division Serbian league. Guys, I don't know if it's obvious enough. I'm taking Declan Rice. My team is complete. Terrible choice. I have no choice here. Give me the PSG Don Ugarte. 60 million in my pocket. Terrible choice, Millie. Terrible choice. How you do not pick Romeo Lavia after what he showed in the Premier League last season? 19-year-old midfielder was dominating games. Give me him right now in my team. Varvar, I know you're trying to hype up your, you know, your midfielder, but Ugarte is definitely better than Lavia, definitely. No, I disagree. Well, Lavia has a higher ceiling, I can argue, but Ugarte is by far the better midfielder. Lavia is better than Ugarte. Varvar, I don't know what your definition of dominated is, but Lavia is not that. I'm okay with my pick. Here's the next spin. I'm, I'm in the lead. I'm cooking a super team here. Oh, I'm in the lead right now. Do you see that midfield? Wow. Who? I got Tonali, Declan Rice, and Havertz. That sound, that, you got three people who are antisocial. Congrats. Oh, wow. Wow. We have finally gotten goalkeeper, and we have three names here. Onana, Sommer, and Loris. Boys, what do you think? What do I think? I think Loris is the obvious choice here. I think, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I know who Millie's going to pick. I have no choice. Millie, give sing me, it, sing it. Give him my dad. Oh, na na. What's my name? I have to take him. Wow. Uh, the, the United legend now, unfortunately. But he's on my team. Millie is so seductive. I know. I, I was getting chills listening I to him. Shiver me timbers. <laughs> never ends. It never ends. I'm going to take... Jan Sommer, give Paula Loris. What? Though. You're terrible. You're, like, gonna, you're, you're terrible? No. The, He's terrible. You're terrible. <laughs> you're terrible. You're going to take the 30. How old is he? 36? I'm, he ages like fine wine. Yeah, you're going to take the, the old bottle of 36 year old wine versus a World Cup winner? Excuse me? Two types of wine that come from the same grapevine, my brother. They're both old and garbage. Millie, that's literally your future goalie. Just got to say it like it is. I, I appreciate Summer. I hope he does well at Inter. But man, we just lost Onana. We're going to come back to this in a year when Millie's saying Summer's the best goalie in the world. Best goalie in the world trophy. <laughs> While I lift my best goalie of the year trophy, here's the next spin. Look, don't get me wrong. I won't. But Onana might be a top three goalie in the world. Who's better? Other than, other than Allison and Courtois, who's clearly better than him? This needs to be said, because it hasn't been said enough on Twitter. Onana is an elite ball-playing goalie. He's an elite goalie. But that's all he is. No. That's no. all he is? No. Le Le Gea was a better shot stopper than Onana. Oh, no. Le no please, please no, no. let us know in the comments if Pala is tweaking or not. We have finally gotten another attacking option. We have left wing. We have three names. Chiesa, Danjuma, 
and Cherki. Varvar, you go first. Cherki? There's one name that stands out way above this list. It starts in CH, and it's Cherki. Chiesa. No. Chiesa, number one. Put him in my team, man. Pala, unfortunately, you did not get your boy. Who are you picking? If it wasn't obvious enough, Cherki, you're on the streets, buddy. You got to find another home because I am going with Danjuma. I'm not for Cherki? Millie, that's a good third pick. I appreciate Another trophy in the cabinet. Some call him an Eden Hazard region. Well, some would be wrong. I disagree. Actually, I, I kind of agree, Pala. He's going to bust at Chelsea. Just watch. But he, he hyped him up until I picked him. And no. then all of a sudden, bust. As soon as he joins Chelsea, his career is finished. Anything related to going to Chelsea, instantly bust, I think. I don't write the rules. That's the game. I don't write the rules. His talent will shine through. That's my guy right there. Here's an X-Pin. It's honestly something to note that all the players that were like extremely hyped going to Chelsea ended up being busts and all kind of the low key ones that flew under the radar are kind of doing the best. The next position has led us back to our defensive line. We have left back Cancelo, Hernandez and Guerrero. What are we picking? I'm going to take the Juventus hood legend, Cancelo. Hood legend. Pala took the Inter legend himself, Cancelo. No problem. Give me Lucas Hernandez. How am I getting the best choice every single time? Rafael Guerrero, the demon who just joined Bayern Munich. He's, he, he's slotting right into my left back spot. Give it to me. Barbara, I think I just brought a fever, bro. A fever? A fever. Not even a sweat, a fever. Best left back? Other than Luke Shaw. Ugh. Uh, Who's better? I'm just kidding. Alfonso Davies. Fonzie, you know, Canadian, Canadian to Canadian, you're a goat. I'm not going to lie. Varvar taking the Dortmund trader himself, Guerrero. But it's okay. Here's an X-Pin. Trader, Schmader. He upgraded. Dortmund fans may not like to admit it. Bayern's, Bayern's bigger than you guys. Dortmund player, try not to go to Bayern challenge. Impo Absolutely impossible. Like impossible. Mission impossible. Brother was crying at the team dinner, and the next day, he's signing for Bayern Munich. Make it make sense, man. That's the story of every Dortmund player. I it's mean, like Tonali vibes, to be honest. Exactly. Now we are going to the opposite side of the pitch. We got right backs. We have Timber, Pavard, and Frimpong. Boys, what do you think? I mean, pretty irrelevant category, if you ask me. The Arsenal fans saying pretty irrelevant category. He, he knows Timber's not a good purchase. Yeah, just leave him for third. The boys know right backs, left backs in these drafts do not win you votes. But I'm still going to take the top one on this list. Give me Timber. I'm going to need him. I'm going to need him for the votes that I could get. He's on my team. Man occasionally knows ball. Underline occasionally, highlight it, bold it. Timber without Ten Hag is just a no one. Let's be real here. Um... Why are you trying to hate from that side of the club? You can't, can't even get in. <laughs> I'm going to take another Ten Hag dream and take Jeremy Frimpong. I'm going to take him. He, he's a very good attacking right back. I have Guerrero Frimpong. My wing backs are basically wingers. Interesting. Millie, I don't even want to know, but who do I have? See, Paula, unfortunately, you're left with, I think, is the worst name on this list. It's Benjamin Pavard, the, the World Cup legend. Another World Cup winner on my team. The World Cups won't win you votes, bro. Not it's with, too not easy. With Pavard. My, it's too easy. I, I would like to say, I think the goal that I scored in IRL is nicer than Pavard's World Cup goal. Okay, calm it down. Calm it down. That uh, was one of the nicest goals I've ever seen. I, I know. know. I, I know, really, know my goal was one of the nicest goals you've ever seen. Really, ever. I don't know. That was a pretty good goal. It, it was okay. Because you guys are teammates. Obviously, you're going to hype it up. I would have been pro if it weren't for, like, I tore my ligament here. Like a couple times, like I can't run like I used yeah. to. I went to a, Uses keep flowing. Man. Yeah, I also went to a couple Bournemouth tryouts and like I, I injured something in this area as well. <laughs> actually, yeah, Man United actually brought me in for a trial, but it didn't work out. Mm. Clearly, Varvar and Pala do not do auditions. Here's an X-Pin. I actually played next to Marcus Rashford in my trial. Really? Yeah. Say that with a straight face, Varvar. He, he said, I, like after the trial, we were both 16 at the time. He told me I was the best player he's actually ever seen play. Really? Yeah. The defensive line will be completed right after this position. We have right center back. We have three names. Skriniar, Todibo, and Kim Min Jae. Varvar, you get to go first. Give me the Manchester United legend. 
Kim Min Jae. He was rumored to be Manchester United player for like a week, but what a week it was. What a week it was. Varvar, you're claiming legends that never even touched your club. Legend status and he never even put on a United kit. But Millie, the I don't blame him. Under. Millie, I don't blame him. Have you have you seen the midfield in the last decade? Have you seen the state of their club? The, I know it who I think it is. This I is know. like two homeless people fighting. No, come on, man. No. You can't you can't talk about my club. <clears throat> well, Varvar, you actually gave me an elite center back. I got Skriniar. For free? He was for free, unfortunately. That means I'm stuck with a decent player, Todibo. I'm okay with that. And by the way, screen yard for free, Marotta Masterclass. Unfortunately, you win some and you lose some. And this time, we lost out. Screen yard, one of my favorite players, is going to be playing in Paris. But now we have Striker. And these are some top, top names, boys. Vlaovic, Lukaku, and Hoyland. Pala, you got first pick. I'm going to take... My man, my beautiful, beautiful man, Vlaovic. Worst striker on the list. By Have the you way. seen his legs? Have you seen his quads? Brothers I'm... basing picks off quads. I cannot take it. Am I faint? That's, that's, an allegri, that's an allegri thing to say. I don't swing that way, but that man, he, he gets me swinging. What did he say? He can't keep getting away with this! <laughs> I have to take my boy. Give me Romelu Lukaku. This man will come to Inter next season and be on fire. I, he's low-key the best pick on this list. I have to take my boy. Give me Romelu Lukaku. This man will come to Inter next season and be on fire. No. Yeah. No. Yes. I'm yes. sorry. If anyone has watched Rasmus Hoyland, oh. they know... This guy is bagging like 30 goals this year. In the Prem. In the Prem. I don't know, maybe at least 15 in the Prem, 30 in all I know half of you are currently looking up. Who is Rasmus Hoyland? We all did. He's a future GOAT. Watch out, you're slandering a future GOAT. I'm slandering a guy that has the same amount of minutes as Vlaovic last season. By the way, had a horrible season for his standards and had less goals and assists. And here you have it, the draft is complete. These are our teams for the summer transfers of 2023. Vote and pick which one is your favorite. Has to be mine. Nose goals. Uh, I get Luis Enrique as my manager. Oh, managers. I got uh, Pochettino. Give me the Napoli man himself, Rudy Garcia. Second Scudetto in a row, question mark, question mark. Hopefully not. No Robert. respect. No respect for Postacoglu. So, after that pick, Millie, you know it's just between us two? Yeah, it's between us two. It's always been. They're trying to gas up literal mid. You guys know who to pick. And as always, thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know what you guys want to see in the next video. And we were recently on the No Ratings pod. Me and Pal, actually. So, make sure you guys check that out. Pretty competitive game. You guys should really check it out. The link is somewhere on the page. Part two, by the way, there was part one also.